Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to a new day of the Elder Scrolls Arena. We are now in... Wait, no, we're still fast traveling. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> tomorrow! Tomorrow we should hopefully friggin' actually arrive somewhere, so we won't be fast traveling for once. That would be fantastic. Now, as I mentioned yesterday, we are in the... We're getting... We're, we're in the mist now. We're in, we're in the down and the dirties. We're ankle deep in... Metal Gear Solid 5 Grand Zero's Wake, um, so check that out um, if you are uh, if you are interested in uh, Grand Zero's and or interested in Grand Zero's Japanese. So check it out. Now speaking of Japan, uh, there is one thing that I need to talk about, and that's okay. I'm from Australia. Australia is very famous for its steak. Right, maybe maybe you don't know that, but you know, steak dinner is a, is a bit you know raising cattle and having big old slab of steak with a with a potato that maybe got some bacon bits in it. It's um it's a, it's an Australian pastime. So is barbecues, but not putting shrimp on them. We put prawns on them, or we put just steak, just more steak. Just put steak on a barbecue and just eat it. Or sausages. Anyway, let's move on. So, in Japan, it's a little bit different. So, steak's pretty... Steak's fairly cheap in Australia. Like, when I was just living by myself before I met the waifu, I would literally just have uh, a, 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 a fairly cheap budget-cut steak, some mashed potatoes, and some carrots, chopped-up carrots, for dinner every night. Like, every night I would have that. And I was happy. I was satisfied with my steaks. That being said, there was a really, really, really good um, steak restaurant in my hometown that serves amazing, like, inch-thick steaks that are just, you know, succulent and juicy, and now I'm hungry. Damn it. Why am I talking about food when I'm still hungry? Oh, whatever. Now, in Japan, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a bit different. So, I was in the local supermarket, right, and they had, you know, they had some beef. They had, you know, beef on, in the supermarket. And I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, a thousand yen. Usually, so which is a thousand yen, which is about, you know, ten bucks. Ten bucks a kilo is a, a decent price for, for steak. It's actually not that bad. All right. I mean, the steaks I buy are $8 a kilo, but they're, like, budget-style. They're actually meant for casseroles, but I eat them. They're fine. Um, so, okay, right, 10 bucks a kilo, that's actually pretty good. Like, you know, in Australia, you, usually you pay by the kilo. I don't know how it works. In, I'm, I'm guessing in America, you pay by the pound. By the pound? Yeah, by the pound. It's weird, actually, now that I think about it, that Americans use pound as a measurement system. And then the English use pound as a monetary system. Hmm. And then we don't use any of it, no. We just use expressions like pound for pound and stuff. Yeah, but everything's by the kilo. Anyway, so yeah, $10, $10 a kilo is a pretty decent price for beef. So I'm like, alright, thousand, thousand yen, that's pretty decent. And then I looked carefully and said, oh, it's per 100 grams. So instead of paying $10 a kilo, it's $10 per 100 grams, which is actually $100 a kilo. Wow, that's expensive. And you, don't, you can buy, like, steaks, like steak steaks, but generally speaking, it's always cut into fine little, like, slithers of ham. That you have, like, shabba shabba, which is, like, you, you've got, like, a, a pot of boiling water, you pick up your your raw slide the slither of raw meat in your chopsticks, you dunk it in the hot water, you swirl it around, cooks it, you pick it up, you eat it. Man, now I'm really hungry. Um, but you don't really have like steaks. That being said, they still do have steaks. Now I was in I was in a, a restaurant yesterday and I was eating some food and I, I decided, you know what, I haven't had steak in a while. It's been a while. Because you don't get steak in Japan that often. Really, I ate a lot of fish, because it's cheap here, as opposed to Australia, where it's really expensive. So, I'm going to have a steak. Screw it, I'm, I'm going to have some steak. So, I ordered steak. 
steak came out. Okay, it wasn't cut into little, like, little fine sashimi slices. It was just, it was a solid steak. And I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna murder this steak. But the steak was so thin. Really, you could have called it, if it was pork, you could have called it ham. Right, it was so thinly sliced that it was basically luncheon meat. Right, this is not a steak. I could I, I could have rolled it up with a piece of asparagus in the middle, and it could have been an hors d'oeuvre. Um, very very disappointing steak. That is basically not a steak. It's really just ham. And this is where I am at my life. Um, I I like steak. Um, I miss steak. Uh, I'm in a country that doesn't really offer steak. Unless it's hamburger steak. Which is actually something that we don't really have in Australia. And it's something that I actually personally really like. Damn it, I'm really hungry now. Could go for some hamburger steak. Should have had some before I came here. Idiot. My favourite was, there's a restaurant in Japan called Steak Gusto. Or Steak Gusto. Um, which is a hamburger steak. Now, they don't have it anymore, which is a shame. But, uh, but a few years back when I came here... They had, I think it was called the Big Gusto or something like that. And it was a hamburger steak, slice of cheese, a hamburger steak, a slice of cheese, a hamburger steak, and then a fried egg on top. Pure bliss. Unfortunately, they stopped doing that. Apparently, people, maybe not many people, you know, ordered it except for me. They do have a double, which is a hamburger steak, cheese, hamburger steak... I think that's it. Does it have an egg on top? I don't think it has an egg on top. I think the egg on top ones is just a hamburger steak with an egg on top. So, I mean, it's it's got to be all three. It's got to be it's got to be steak, cheese, steak, egg, or steak, cheese, steak, cheese, steak, egg. That's my favourite. Um, unfortunately, I just don't have it anymore. This is a shame. You can always eat McDonald's, but then double quarter pounders in McDonald's. I don't know what it is. The, the meat patty is like 5 to 10 percent sizes like in diameter larger than the buns so the meat hangs out the end so of course you can run around the burger and eat all the bits but then it's all slippery and the the the, 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 the meat just slides out of the bun I'm used to Australian McDonald's where it's just you just got a burger it's all greasy and shit but it's just it you just gotta hold it. You can hold it in one hand easily. In the Japanese double quarter pandas, I gotta like use two hands and like work around and what what what? It's like a juggling act with this burger, so it doesn't fall out, fall over everywhere. And you know, freaking ketchup's flying all over the place and dropping on my shirt. But anyway, I just wanted to share that. You know, just steak that really is thin enough to be considered ham. It's, it's, a sh it's a crying shame. Hamburg steaks are good, though. And, of course, fish is great. Well, I mean, it's, it's, it, well, it's great, it's great. But it's, it's also very cheap. Like, you know, smoked salmon in Australia would be unbelievably expensive. In Japan, it's like two bucks. It's great. It's fantastic. Um, on the fish front. But on the, on the steak front, on the meaty, meaty meat side, yeah. And, I, and I'm a carnivore, man. I'm a meditarian. I need my meats. I need it. I don't care what kind of meat. I don't care if it's beef, if it's lamb, if it's chicken, if it's fish, if it's friggin' kangaroo. As long as I can get it in my belly and it bypasses my taste buds, I'm happy. I don't need special sauces. I'll just eat that shit raw. That's all I care about. I just want food. That is of an animal. Yeah. Which guy? Which... You know, eggs and... Well, eggs, of course, go into that category because they're technically animals. Um, and uh, also the other one. Uh, milk. Milk and, you know, milk products. Cheese. Cheese is good. The wife hates cheese. The wife also hates lamb, which is a shame because I never get to eat lamb. That being said, lamb is not that popular in Japan anyway. Um, last time I went to Australia, I, I had a, my um, mum my cooked me a nice lamb dinner and I had that and it was really nice. But... You know, Japan, not, not, not so much on the lamb front. You've got beef, and you've got Australian beef, which they call Aussie beef, which is awesome. Um, which is actually 
the fa like the favorited type of beef that you can get in Japan. And McDonald's uses Aussie beef, which is great. So the burgers, as far as the meat is concerned, the burgers taste pretty much the same as um, Australian burgers. It's just that for some reason, I don't know, maybe it's the grease, the amount of grease that you use, or or the positioning of the ketchup. It just burger just slides out. It's annoying. But anyway. Yes, yeah, so I just thought I might share that with you. But tomorrow, oh my god, is it uh, is it a long time coming? We are finally going to arrive in my favourite town and elsewhere, Einmaval. I don't know what we're going to do yet. Have we done a mission for Einmaval? I... Let me check. We have, we have in fact done a mission for Einmaval. So we're probably just going to stop off, maybe check, do some shopping. That's about it. Do I have stuff to sell? I don't know. I forgot to stop. So maybe I do. Um, but anyway, yeah, we'll do some shopping and then we'll move on to the next town. But for now, my name is Leo and I will see you next time.